Hi folks, Algan here with Six Moon Designs. Today we're going to show you how to pitch the Gatewood Cape and the Gatewood Cape Bundle, which is the Gatewood Cape paired with our Serenity Net Tent. The Gatewood Cape is a great one-person shelter that provides 360 degree weather protection. The Gatewood Cape also pulls double duty as rain gear and pack cover on those wet days on trail. When paired with the Serenity Net Tent, it becomes a fantastic double wall shelter. By design, the Gatewood Cape can be pitched at various heights depending on how much or how little airflow you would like inside the shelter. One can vary the height of their trekking pole between 45 to 49 inches depending upon conditions. The higher will provide more ventilation and the lower is more ideal for stormy weather. The Gatewood Cape requires a minimum of one trekking pole and six tent stakes to set up. The typical height is what we'll show you today and that's a trekking pole set at 45 inches or 115 centimeters. To start, you'll lay out your shelter flat on the ground and you'll want to point the rear into the wind. Then, stake this point using the farthest out spot on the fixed skyline. Now we'll go to the front of the shelter and stake out the two front corners. I find it best to stake one out and then go to the opposite corner, pull the guy line tight and back off six inches. Then insert your stake. Next with the trekking pole tip facing up, we'll insert the tip into the grommet inside the harness and angle our pole. Then we'll want to stake out the front guy line and make sure that our front door is secured using the clip. To finish, we will now go to the back of the gate with cape and stake out the final two guy lines. To get a taut pitch, we can now begin by tensioning the front guy line and if needed, adjust the stakes in each corner. Now, if you want to add a layer of buck protection or you just prefer the benefits of a double wall tent, we'll show you how to pair the Serenity Net Tent with your Gatewood Cape. Start by unrolling your Serenity Net Tent and locate the front door and position it to the front of the tent. Next, unzip the door of the Gatewood Cape and reach inside the peak and clip the Serenity Net Tent to the glove hook at the top. Once this is done, we'll attach all four corners to their corresponding guy lines. Simply attach the glove hook to each guy line like so. Finally, you can reach around the back and attach the final glove hook to the rear guy line of the tent. Once inside, you'll be able to access additional space behind the Serenity Net Tent with this access zipper. A few do's and don'ts to remember. Do's. Do use the longest setting of the guy lines to maximize the space inside the Gatewood Cape. Do set the stakes in the order listed. Since the canopy floats off the ground on top of the pole, it's important to achieve a balance side to side and front and back. Do close the vestibule before setting up the tent. This aids in getting the best alignment of the stakes and reduces tension and undue stress on your zippers. Do allow the canopy to rest for a half hour before retensioning of the tent. This allows the fabric to relax. Do any additional tension with the adjuster on the main guy line and then the corners as needed. Don'ts. Don't try to raise the perimeter of the tent by using long stakes and terminating the guy line several inches off the ground. This is somewhat counterintuitive to normal logic. When you set up a tent this way, instead of the canopy and sidewalls rising, they'll tend to collapse instead. This will cause the corners to dip, resulting in reduced headroom and ventilation. The Gatewood Cape and Bundle are a great shelter for those looking for a multi-use piece of gear that can keep them dry while hiking all day and double up as a shelter at night. With the addition of their surrounding net tent, this double wall ultralight shelter is sure to keep you safe and comfortable for many years to come. With various pitch heights, this shelter is ready to take on any weather you may encounter out in the field. Thanks for watching Six Moon Designs. And remember, Go wild, live young.